Mukuro Ikusaba. Welcome back to my let's play of Dangarampa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last part, um, we finished Sakura's class trial. Turns out it was Sakura who killed herself by poison, which I kind of figured going into it, but still. Um, and then, Mukuro Ikusaba is apparently the 16th student. Not only that, but she is also the ultimate despair. So now we have that information. Um, Kyoko told us. And apparently she's telling us again. So, yeah. Oh. <gasps> what? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. Yeah. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. I, I, well, I haven't seen her yet, so I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba? That was three days before the next incident. Oh, no. Three days before we'd be faced with another murder. Oh, no. Who's it gonna be next? There are six people left. I don't like them all. I mean, I, I mean, Hero's okay. Like, like if anyone has to die, I want to be Hero. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest. But, like, I still... I don't, I don't want them to, anyone to die. Again? Oh, my God. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. What the fuck? That's the guy that attacked us in the um when we found the secret boys' bathroom room, right? That that mask. <gasps> Is that Mukuro Ikusaba? Yo, okay, I'm sorry. I, I need I need to keep moving because I'm thinking way too many things. I just wait till it happens. 100 mile dash, pain of a junk food junkie. Chapter 5, daily life. Junk food junkie. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, the morning in the dining hall. Hmm. So, let's begin with the usual post trial investigation. Huh? Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never get straight to the point like that. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Ah. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well? You just ask like that, tied to those insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyways. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse. The mastermind surprises are bloated as a cow's udder. Ew. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Toko? Huh? Hey, Toko, you seem pretty quiet. Hello? <laughs> Man, you're so boring right now. You just sit there like a mushroom. You guys are calling you Miss Mushroom. What the fuck, a mushroom? Oh. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Oh. And she's, she's doing it. I'm- I'm honestly not surprised at this point. Huh? What? If she can open her mouth, she can't eat. Or drink water. <laughs> I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <laughs> <sighs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? Whew. I believe this is the small talk Biake warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by an ob obvious irritated Byakuya, we all start our exploration. Okay, so the fifth floor, I believe, is open. That's fun. I'm trying to think, how many floors does this school have? Like, so we're gonna enter the fifth one. Is there one after that? Uh, 
Um, where are the stairs? Are the stairs behind me? No. Those, those are the ones that just came up, actually. Because I'm stupid. Um. <laughs> okay. And then the fourth floor stairs are here, right? No, did go down. I'm, again, I'm... No, they're... Okay. I need to stop being stupid. Um. <laughs> it's late. It's fine. Um. Where are the stairs? They're here. And then I take a left. Another left. And fuck, wrong way. I should take a right. Damn it. Yeah, and then this one will be the fourth floor. And then where is this? I don't know where to start on this floor, so I'm just gonna run around and oh, there they are. Duh. We're at the end of the fucking hallway, actually. Oh, it's blue. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hoax Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. It's totally different from all the floors we've set up, seen up till now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. I see plants. Is that like bamboo and shit? Is this, is this real? Okay. Um. What is? What? what I'm, I'm trying to read what room it is. Okay. Five A. Ooh, is that like fucking like left or something? Oh, what the heck? Okay, I. Okay, I thought that leg was not a leg, and I, I'm gonna say it. I totally thought Monica was being fucked with the ass right in that picture. I'm, I shit you not. That's what I saw. <laughs> anyway, nighttime secrets. No more. Stomp, stomp. He's so dirty. Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing actually. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much just like kinky Monokuma thing. One of monitors. I, I, I'm just looking for the coins. That's all I need. These stuff I've seen before. I'm just seeing if they have a coin in them. Really? Come on. One of these have to. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Again. Um. I believe this is five B. Yep. Haha, <laughs> catch me if you can. Wait up, I'm gonna punish you. Gross. So this is Makoto, because this is Makoto. This is Monokuma, and I'm assuming that's Kyoko that just said gross. Okay. Again, just look. Okay, good coin, okay. Um. Just checking all these things. I'm not gonna read them because we've already read them multiple times. Um, oh, this is Despair on the Wall. Look at that. How fun. Um, and then Toko. Wait, will Toko talk to us? Oh. Huh? Does she want it to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? She can't. She's too whipped by Byakya. Is she trying to say something? I think she almost, just a little more and I might get it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. Oh. Just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Okay, well that... Token not talking, I mean... Doesn't help us at all. Okay, so we go... Oh! Hina, hi. Um... What's over here? What the fuck is that side? Oh! Oh, this is cool. Okay. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remain remind me of an old school public bathhouse. Um, and then oh wait, what, something up there. Oh, that's the camera. Never mind. I don't know why I clicked that. Um, and then rope. Is that rope? Oh, it's a straw post used for sword practice. They use it for training tier too. And then, are those cherry blossoms? Even though the, this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, it, and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. Since our situation, isn't it kind of out of the place? I mean, a little bit, because there are fucking targets. 
Is this like an archer room or something? The target seemed pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. Oh, nice. Another coin. Um, will this say the same thing? Hey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Indeed. Okay. Um, and then... The samurai. A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Nice, another coin. Okay. And then we'll talk to Kyoko and... What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Oh, yeah. Mukuro Ikusaba. Yeah. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. Yeah. The one they call the ultimate, ultimate despair. despair. I don't like Watch that. Out for her. <laughs> um, Kyoko? I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Yeah, because there are cameras here. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up at the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me what that whatever it was, it was important. Maxwine couldn't find out. How did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? I'm starting to wonder that too. Hmm. So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything better than before. <laughs> yeah, that's Kyoko for you. Okay, what else is there? Um oh! Hello. The light? Oh! What the? Yo, is this like a fucking greenhouse? Oh god, so much to look at. Um, hold on, what, what's over here? Okay, so... Camera I've already seen a million times. Just to be sure, I should take a look in the tool shed. The place seemed totally disorganized, from a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower parts, farm tools. Leaning against the back wall. Is that pickaxe? Uh, yep, but we're gonna look at the right side first. With the flower pots. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers up in my room. Why? There's no sunlight, you'll, they'll just die. There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's gonna take care of the lawn? Then we have the pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Huh? There's something carved in the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Where? There are different kinds of dark gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Um, and then bag of fertilizer. Bag of fertilizer are, are piled up. There's so many different kinds to choose from. Okay. So I guess we have a garden area. Which is nice, I guess. Oh. That's a big-ass flower. What is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Why are they supposed to be that big? Is this thing real? Oh Watch my! Out. What? Ooh. That's a monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. I'm, I'm shocked. Try and touch it, and you're in for one real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plants all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, lodge, I'm dead. In other words, it's monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate bot botanist. Although, it didn't go here anymore. It died during the tragedy. Oh. Actually. Rip. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. You can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Oh, that's well, fine. Such an eco-friendly creature is vital for the future growth of a healthy social society. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that myself. 
Sprouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Ooh, but I had a coin in it, so it's worth it. Um, I'm gonna... I want to see what this thing is first. There's some kind of control panel near the set walls. Does it control the air conditioner or something? Oh! It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it even if you wanted to. That means the sprinkler will go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. I'm gonna have to remember that. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's super user friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. <laughs> but you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Actually, that was fun. I will have you know, I used to do that and that was real fun. Disgusting. Or you have some kind of water fetish. I mean, it takes all people. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> And, um, is this a chicken coop? I thought it was another shed. What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? Oh, chickens! They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. Oh, I have to look at each chicken? <laughs> okay. It's a chicken. It's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? <laughs> it's a chicken. It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? <laughs> it's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It's a chicken. It doesn't have, like, a second form, right? I guess not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them. Exactly? Hmm. Five, you know? The number comes after four and before six? At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, they're a good omen. It contains mis mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. This number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. Never let me get a word in edgewise. Okay, well, speaking of which, I just want to talk to you. Yo. I first I thought, at first I thought I saw blue skies, but it turned out they were just painted the walls of the ceiling. You know? Oh, the plants are all real. It's been a while since I smelled veg vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why that's so bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? Is there's just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, there's always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the end is nigh. they pull their plan from global human extinction into action. Okay. Well? I'm serious. Okay. I believe that was all. Okay. Um. Oh, this is wrap around. Okay, good. Um, and then, you know, I'll talk to you. See if you found anything useful. Um. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. I do too. Um, five C. Oh my god! What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. Me, yeah, me too. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled was sour, pungent, impossible rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It, it's. It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all you've seen around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... Hmm. The smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There's no surprise in his voice. No shock. 
he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. The smell of death and despair. Hmm. The smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma Mon must have. Hey, come what? On now. My fault again? Hmm, hmm. Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you haven't done what you did, this never would have happened. Unbelievable. No, no, no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep. Let me give you an itty bitty, itty squidgy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How that for him? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those main, mean old RPGs. Uh oh. It's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the wall and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I mean, he's not wrong. I can't wait! I can't wait! So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? Okay. Oh my. Okay. I, first things first, I want to know why the blood is red here all of a sudden, because so far all the blood has been pink. Now it's red. Second of all, fucking body outlines. Eye for an eye, which I can't look at. Can't even look at the fucking metal plates. Okay, um, blood stain. There's blood all over the place. Once should my have forever against such a nasty sight? Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And the color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. Oh, maybe that's why they're red. This is all real blood? Hmm. Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? It seemed like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. And then the, um... Body outlines. There are white chalk outlines and draw all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of stuff on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. Yeah. I wish I could say I don't believe it, but I believe there was a murder here. Oh, no. And then I definitely talk to Byakya. Um, Byakya? About what Monokuma just told us. Did he not believe it? It's like, I'm not even here. Must be lost in- oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I kinda expected that. Is he really thinking that hard? Or are they just flatly ignoring me? I guess we'll never know. Leave the area, yes. Okay. Um, well, that was a room. What's this here? Two? No, raw. I thought it said, I thought the W with a two. Bio. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, that looks like a very important room and we can't even get into it. It's locked. Came all the way just to be denied here? The sign in the hall says Biolab. A Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into? It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and see what the others turned up. Oh, so we actually got a lot from that room, I'll be honest. I just had a voice crack. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. Before too long... Hmm. It would appear everyone has returned. <sighs> but still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second! Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball <laughs> theme. <gasps> yes. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. 
Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our own our best. Hmm. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone's discovered. Okay, um... I'll start with Togo, because I doubt she'll talk. Yeah. Hey, Biakit, it seems like Togo wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it, or uh, whatever. <laughs> ah, I've forgotten about that. Huh? Jesus, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. Hmm. Well, Togo, if you want to involve us all in your rooted breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> you are honor me, master. And don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? <laughs> Shut up. And don't interrupt when master told me and her talking. Um. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something's caught my attention. <sighs> oh! It was... this. Please tell me that was not the same knife that killed the masked person. Please tell me that was not the same knife that killed the masked person. Please. Please, don't. It's the same fucking knife, isn't it? It's the same fucking knife. God damn it. A knife? And that's not like a kitchen knife shit, no, that's like a fucking, like, hunting knife. That's like a knife to kill. <sighs> oh no. Whoa! That thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! <laughs> okay. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But, what's it doing in the classroom? Well. How would I know? Very suspicious. What, you're gonna use a knife for... What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife just lying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. <sighs> Listen, more important, now that we have this knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? We can't let Togo keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. So what do we do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Oh. Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. And that's that. Hold on, don't I guess say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. If there's nothing I can do, I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. <gasps> uh, do I still have b bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Oh. Huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm dreaming. I. M must be dreaming. <laughs> uh, that I would ever experience such a dream. Uh, I feel strange. So strange. R really strange. Oh no. I. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Whenever I look at Toka these days, it makes me feel sad. Hero, what do you find? You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I've found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant. When Kuma said that's called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in pipe. In the pipe, though. Anyway, 
that thing just benefits from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. Don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah! Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch cold, you know? <laughs> oh my god! I just realized that how that was a sick burn. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm trying to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what Templus 10 is? Oh god. What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I mean, I've been held back three times. Oh shit. That doesn't make me stupid. But if it make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. Oh god. Huh? So, um, what was the question again? Uh. Don't worry, you just answered it. Okay, Biakia. Hmm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. Hmm. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered so far. What? What? Ooh, what the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body smell concentrated. Huh? But I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm in a bar just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. Well, yeah, I'm assuming so. <laughs> a bunch of people were... killed there? Stop. Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room in the in is the incident said to happen one year ago. That would make sense. The awful scene in that room. That was a tragedy that happened a year ago? But I feel like it's more than just that. I mean, sure, a room full of students or teachers or whoever the fuck getting massacred and shit is bad, but like... I feel like there's more to it. Cause it's like, what, four or five people, or at least the bodies we see? Like... No. Because more people die just being in this fucking, like, Monokuma game. I, so that might be part of it, but I don't think that's all of it. Precisely. The tragedy is none is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hoax Peak Academy. If that's true, it's all clear now. That would explain why Hoax Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess it all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super <laughs> awfully awful. They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how has it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor we couldn't access. Yeah, I'm concerned about that too. Hmm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this was like a cliche horror game, it'd be like some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant door. We're not in a horror game, though. Well... Hmm. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. <laughs> and Tina? Yeah! I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of the Sakura's job. But... Hmm. Anyway, no dice. There are metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? 
So then. Either you did, you noticed the fifth floor lacked something every other floor has. Something on all the floors, but not on the fifth floor. Are there bathrooms up there? I haven't seen any bathrooms. Are you talking about stairs? Oh! That means the fifth floor is the last floor? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Huh? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, he knows right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out of it, no matter what it takes. Okay, is that all? I can't go running off, I wanna... Did... Did I not? Oh! I forgot here I had like three you things know? to say. Up there, yeah, okay, yeah. I forgot about the other two. Chicken coop. There are a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, we're barbecued. Decisions, decisions. Ah. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw chicken, right? <sighs> I'm pretty sure that'll kill you. Okay, and then I'll one other thing. You know? Um, a tool shed. You know it's a two, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? What were the pickaxe and tool shed? And the words crazy diamond have been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy diamond. Hmm. It does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Huh? Where? Ah, oh, that's it. I remember. <gasps> oh, Mondo! It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. The jacket says the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would it be on one of the pickaxes in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? How? Not possible. We didn't have access to that garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here. Mondo came up confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what's stuck out to me in the tool shed. Pickaxe connecting to Mondo. Hmm. But what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? But what did? Yo. Well, I know it's there with a lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. What the hell are you talking about? Huh? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I can use make some crop circles or something. We are inside a fucking building. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make a crop circle. Well? And we can use those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happening to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know? Well, back then my personality hasn't quite solidified yet. Ugh. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo! So, what do we do now? Hmm. Well... Starting the day, you're all under my command. Before we proceed, I need to figure something out. <laughs> no way! Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna burst through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um... So, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Excuse me? Huh? Oh. Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is... Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definite, definable reason for having been selected to attend Host Peak Academy. Nina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hero is the ultimate clairvoyant, even Mako is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about Kyoko? Can you tell me what she is? Uh, um. I thought you mentioned it. She's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. 
It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean? So... Because... I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Huh? Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But this is a joke. I'm not laughing. This is very you, suspicious. You can't be serious now, can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However... It doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicion activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key, huh? she can go asleep in her room. She'll be breaking school regulation. Dude, don't do that. Hmm. If she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine. I understand. Oh, Kyoko. You don't need to listen to him. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. No, she's in the mood to give you her key. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and held out her room key. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia will fit right in. However... The worst school, where only worse things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? I have no idea. Perhaps I said too much. What? Kyoko then turned her back and without a word began to walk away. What? Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? What's her deal? What? I think you went too far, taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she'll get off on the attention. I can't believe her. It's enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. <laughs> oh, and she shut up. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... What's Kyoko gonna do now? <laughs> Mako doesn't give a shit about what just happened. He only cares about Kyoko. What's the situation? It's just like before. It's so different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. He's right, yeah. And I... I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. <laughs> what? What happened? What? What? Uh, um... What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... Cuz, cuz, look. Oh. Were you just standing there? What? What? It, it's you. How long have you been standing there? Yeah. I'm very, very. Now I'm really angry. Angry. Huh? Angry at what? Yeah. At the thief 
Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Huh? What? Hey! My precious. They stole it. Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Wow, what happened? What, what What's your precious? <sighs> Real use filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder pe people run away from their fantasies. Um... But what the heck is your precious? <sighs> Excuse me. Shut up. I hope all of you get stuck in a higher and freeze and die pennilessly on the street. What the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that about? So, um... Is that something about his precious getting stolen? Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. <clears throat> I'll be completely honest. I'm starting to think the same thing. I think she may have stole his precious. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing to willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? If that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Oh, nighttime. Yep. Soon the doors to the yep. Okay yep. then. Oh, okay. Night. Um. Uh oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk more about this tomorrow and about Kyoko. Hmm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precaution tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering around. Well. I don't like when you tell us that. Goodbye. Well then. Let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, that's right. And he put his knife away that I got from Toko. I think the safest place is for it to be with my desk drawer. But anyway, is Yoko gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Oh, did he fall asleep? Yeah, he fell asleep. Yeah, he fell asleep. Oh, hello? Kyoko? Yeah. As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more importantly... Did I hear the doorbell? Yes, we did. But we will answer the doorbell in the next part. So in the next part, we will find out who's at the doorbell. I'm assuming it's Kyoko. Um, and maybe find out what Monokuma's precious was that Kyoko might have stolen, because I'm pretty sure she did. Um, but I'm sure she had a good reason for it. And yeah, that's it.